All right, for math today, we are multiplying fractions using an area model. First off, I have my first fraction, which is 5 eighths, and I'm going to put that over here on this side. 5 eighths will show up on this side with 2 thirds on this side. So to first off, I need to fill in 5 eighths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I have filled in 5 eighths. I'm going to fill in 1, 2 thirds. I mean, one of the thirds and a second of the thirds. Now, for me to be able to identify what is my answer to the fraction, it is the number that has both the red and the white. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. If I continue to find out how many I have in all, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And 14 plus 10 is 24. So I have 10 24ths. If I multiply 5 times 2, that equals 10. If I multiply 8 times 3, that equals 24. And that is exactly what we got there. Now, if we simplify this, we need to find a number that goes into both 10 and 24. Simplifying is not always necessary, but it is also good to know what to do. A number that can easily go into 10 and 24 is the number 2. So we are going to divide 10 by 2 and we are going to divide 24 by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5, and 24 divided by 2 equals 12. So 5 eighths times 2 thirds gives us 10 24 and if we simplify that, we get 5 12 Now let's do one more together. I'm going to be filling this in six sevenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have filled in six sevenths. Now I'm going to change my colors. And I'm going to fill in four fifths. We're going this way for fifths. So we have one fifth filled in, two fifths filled in, three fifths, and four fifths. Now, to identify the answer, it is everything that has the blue and the yellow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. So we have 24, and if we keep counting to figure out how many other boxes are there, we had 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we have 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we have 24 out of 35.
Now if we come back here and we multiply 6 times 4, we get 24. If we multiply 7 times 5, we get 35. So 6 sevenths times 4 fifths equals 24 thirty-fifths. Thanks for joining me.